right, so we are making the Scotch Bonnet Strawberry Pepper Jelly today with our batch of um, Scotch Bonnets. And the recipe calls for we have the strawberries and the sugar in here. And we just blended down the Scotch Bonnet with the vinegar. It came out to one cup of apple cider vinegar. And so this recipe actually calls for two quarts of strawberries, 15 scotch bonnet peppers, four cups of sugar, and four lemons. But we did the apple cider vinegar instead because the recipe said that, that was an option. And that came out to one cup of apple cider vinegar. But we did a triple batch. So we'll be cooking this all down and we will show you the end product. All right, here's the final product and we're pouring it into the jars and I'll post a link below to the recipe that's it's just all cooked down I'm just gonna show you the consistency it's all cooked down it smells so good it almost smells like jalapeno so I'm just using some of my canning stuff to pour it into the jars Should make quite a few jars. Just below, I'm putting it just below the rim. So we have filled up our jelly jars and we're going to do a water bath. And here they are. It's going to taste so good. And so we have them in the water bath. We did our, we're doing our first set now and you get it to a roiling boil and then you boil it for 10 minutes and then take them out and they should seal, seal up. So we'll turn it off. I'll actually let them sit in there for a few minutes before we take them out and they should seal up real, real, real good. So I will be selling jelly real soon for anyone that's interested. Let me know.